I'm so burpy. Good morning, good morning. Flynn, Flynn. He's learning patience. I can hear him getting a little fussy in there going, patience, patience. Are we learning patience? It goes, be patient. Be patient, you never have to worry. Be patient, be patient, don't be in such a hurry. Remember, remember that God is patient too. Just think of all the times that he's been patient with you. My dad used to sing that to me when I was a little kid. <laughs> ah! Even think of a time where he walked. Love, can you can you remember a time where he just walked? He only runs. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, cuddles, that's so nice. It's constant, constant running. <laughs> Chopsticks? Ow! <laughs> no! Are you brushing my hair? Yeah. There's a cat hair in my eyeball. Okay. Insane. We decided to make a little zoo inside the house. Flynn's already finding it and losing his mind. So we're gonna make a little zoo with the stuffed animals that we have, which we don't have a lot. Flynn's never been like a super like stuffed animal type of kid. He's mostly this type of a kid. So <laughs> we're trying to make little cages for the stuffed animals and like have a little zoo safari. But basically he just wants to push the cages around like cars. We're gonna set it up and I'll show you when we're done. Okay, so we set Flynn up with some snacks and a little video so that we can set up without him seeing. So we have the doggy cage and in the doggy cage we have some doggies. And then over here we have the lion cage. Right now the lion cage is empty because it's gonna be we're waiting till the last minute to put the cats in. And, fun thing, some of the exhibits, you can feed the animals. You just need a coin, so he has to ask mommy for a coin, and I have coins, and he has to put it in here, and if he does that, then he can have a treat to feed the animals. So that's for the cats. Here we have the aquarium, the little fish. Gus actually thinks that these are real, so he is guarding it. Here we have, oh, I forgot to put the box box. This is the chicken cage. This is the elephants. And that's his best friend from childhood, which is Eduardo, and there are peanuts to feed him if he wants to feed him. The dinosaur cage, right there. And the squirrels, right there. And again, those are peanuts, Daisy, that's not your food. So that's that. Now, for the record, we don't like zoos. I used to go to zoos all the time. I grew up in a city where there was a really wonderful zoo that took really good care of animals. We're not big zoo people now. I haven't been to a zoo in many years. It just makes me sad now to see animals in cages, so in no way am I condoning and supporting animals in small cages. This is a happy zoo, a friendly zoo. No animals are hurt and they all are set free at the end of our little zoo trip. This is just so we can say hi and it's during their nap that they're in the cage and then we'll set them free, so don't worry. We're not teaching Flynn that you should put all animals in cages. Don't worry. But it is fun, something to do because those are the type of things that like we're kind of like, oh, I wish we could take him to some sort of like outdoor big farm or a really like family friendly type of not zoo, but like a safari type of thing or a museum. There's like all these things that we can't do with him. Kids playgrounds. We can't do any of that stuff because of COVID.
COVID, so we're like, how can we still let him enjoy those types of things in life, but we're at home. So that's what we're trying to accomplish right now. And Eric is currently working on the reptile exhibit, which is bugs. So he's looking for some bugs right now for the reptile exhibit. Okay, Flynn, we have a special surprise. He's eating a snack. We're gonna go to the zoo. Do you wanna go to the zoo? Do. A zoo? Yeah, do you wanna go to the zoo? Say, say yeah. First, we have to take your car, because it's a safari. We're gonna push it over here. Okay, you ready? Here's your ticket. Can you hold this? You're gonna give this to Dada. You have to give this to Dada. Can you give that to Dada? Is this your ticket? Okay, good to go. All right, so is he getting in? Go. <gasps> Where are we going? Go. <gasps> this is the first exhibit. Bugs. <gasps> you see the bugs? Bugs. Yeah. Bugs. Do you see the bugs, bugs in there? Bugs. Yeah. Bugs, yeah. Roly polies and snails. Oh, the bugs. Oh, it's a bug. Oh. Wow. The bug. A bug, yeah. You want to look inside this way? The bug? Yeah, there's bugs in there. Okay, let's go to the next exhibit. Bye bye, bugs. Here bye bye. We have to go around this way. Through the desert. What's your ranger name? I'm Ranger Colleen. I'm Ranger Mama. All right, we're getting through the, let's go through the desert to get to the next exhibit. Flynn, right here, we are at the doggies. Do you see the doggies? All right, this is the part of the zoo where you can get out and look. You wanna see the doggies? Wow, you see the doggies? What did the doggies say? He goes, look at the buggies in it. Oh, do you want to feed it? Wow. Yeah, it costs money, so here. Here's the money, put this inside of here. Put it in here. Good job. And now you can feed the kitty. What's the lion say? Here you go. Want to feed this to the kitty? Can you drop it in there? Good job, here you go. Yeah, do you want to give it Oh no, there's a lion on the loose. Let's put this lion. Oh. oh, a lion escaped! Oh no! Oh no, the lion escaped! All right, let's go to the next exhibit. Oh my hand. What is he doing? Uh oh. Doing? The lion found the bug in the bed. Fishies! He loves the bugs. 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 Oh no, it's good. Fishies. Come on, look at the fishies. This is the part of the aquarium you can touch. Yeah, you can touch the fishies. The turtle. Do you see the turtle? I do. Just you want to see the chicken? Let's go look at the chicken. What's the chicken say? Papa. Papa. You want to pet the chicken? Very nice. In here is an elephant. You can feed the elephants. Do you want to feed the elephants? So you have to pay. Here's some money. Can you put it in here? Good job. Okay, so now you can feed the elephants some food. Can you feed the elephant? Good job. Oh, no, look. Yeah. What's the dinosaur say? What's the dinosaur say? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. And here's the final place is the squirrels. You want to feed the squirrels? You gotta pay. Very good. Now here's this for the squirrel. The squirrel right there. Yeah. Good job. That's so nice. It was cute, but he's already over it. <laughs> no, he's just chasing the lions. Oh, you're setting them free. 
That's, this is the happy zoo love. The animals get to go free at the end. That was cute. Now we can play with the zoo all night. He's putting the bugs, setting the bugs free. Put the bugs on the ground. Down here. There you go. See the bugs? Setting them free. Okay, so we have decided to go on a little vacation. I'm very excited because we've been getting a little stir crazy in the house, but we obviously wanna respect the rules um, that our government has put in place to keep everyone safe. COVID-19 is spreading. It ain't no hoax, honey. It's a real deal. And so we don't wanna catch it and we don't wanna spread it, more importantly. We've been very safe. We never leave our house unless it's for a walk. And so we figured out a way to go on a vacation tomorrow. Get out of the house go somewhere I'm very excited about it we're gonna go and it's gonna be really really fun I can't wait for you guys to see hello hubby you putting away the zoo yeah I'm putting away the zoo okay guys I never do Colleen's corner videos anymore if you don't know what that is that's wild to me but maybe some of you are new here and you don't know Colleen's corner is basically what made my main channel become like a consistent channel for me. Many, many years ago, I was posting on the Miranda channel very frequently. The Miranda channel was doing well. My channel wasn't doing great, but it like was doing fine. And I got a ticket for speeding through, not speeding through, just running a red light. And um, they took a picture of me and everything. And it was like four or $500, like it was really expensive. I didn't know how I was gonna pay it. So I was like, well, maybe if I post more videos, I can make a little bit more money this month and pay it off. So I started doing every Tuesday, I did something called Colleen corner where I just answer a bunch of questions. I stopped doing them because people don't really do Q and A's on YouTube really anymore. And they're kind of like not that interesting. And I don't know, I feel like no one will watch it. It's like, who wants to see me read, answer a bunch of questions about like literally stupid things. Like what's my favorite flavor of ice cream. But for some reason, a bunch of people on Twitter were like asking me when I was going to do another one. And I was like, I don't know, never. And then finally one night I was like, you know what? I'll do it. And I asked for questions. Actually, I accidentally said coin chains because I typed that so many times as Miranda that now it's in my like memory of my phone. So when I type about questions now, it comes out as coin chains. Anyway, that's not important. So I asked for questions. Everyone asked me questions and then I forgot to do it. <laughs> So it is midnight and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna film it right now. I don't know when it's gonna go up, but I'm filming it. So that's the first step. But you guys always say you wanna watch this and I'm like, no one watches, no one does Q and A's anymore. No one watches Q and A's, but here we go. You guys asked some really good questions. Some really good coin jeans. Let's get started. Guys, I did it. I filmed the Queen's Corner. So I don't know if you'll ever see it, but it's filmed. I feel weird tonight. I honestly feel high and I'm not, I don't do that. I don't get high. I don't judge people who do, but that's not my jam. But I that I feel weird. I feel like floaty and like, like a little out of body. I don't know if I ate something weird, <laughs> but I literally feel like kind of high. So I don't know what that's about, but I feel super bizarre. Does anyone know what that could be? Like, why would you feel high from nothing? Like, it has to have been something I ate, like isn't sitting well or something, but I don't feel sick. I just feel like, you know what I bet it is? It's sleep deprivation. I've heard that that can do that. Anyway, I should go to bed. But I'm excited for our vacation tomorrow. <gasps> I'm so burpy. Uh, yes, we're going on a little vacation tomorrow. I'm very excited just for the day, just a daycation. We will be at the beach. We will be in the mountains. We're gonna see some special people. It's gonna be great, so make sure to tune in. I am very, very excited. We're going to be safe. Don't worry, we're not going to any hotels. We're not gonna be around any people who um, have not been completely socially distant and isolated we're taking COVID very seriously as you guys know so um, we're doing this in a responsible safe manner um, but I think it's just gonna be a little day trip just to like make it so Flynn can see things and do things as you saw today we need to do something because we literally made a zoo out of stuffed animals today and fed them stuff we're feeding stuffed animals peanuts like it's time to get out of the house so that's what we're gonna do uh but i love you guys and i hope you are staying safe and happy and healthy and i will see you tomorrow okay bye we all thought that last clip was the end of the video but it's not because i need to take a pregnancy test <laughs>
I obviously, every time I've taken a pregnancy test since I've had Flynn, I've filmed it and shown you guys. Um, so I have taken a few. I don't think I'm pregnant. I just had the thought of like, oh my God, could I be pregnant? Because I've been a little wonky for like a week, extra emotional and just off. And I thought it was because of COVID and just being locked down and everything going on in the world. But my appetite has gone up like crazy, which that could mean nothing. I've also been very like, I feel like I can taste iron in my mouth and I'm very like spitty, <laughs> which could be nothing. It could be absolutely nothing, but that was something that happened when I was pregnant. So I haven't thought anything of it. So I haven't, I haven't thought that I was pregnant even a little bit. Like in my mind, I was like, there's no way. It's like literally impossible. Something else that's been happening is I've been getting out of breath really, really, really easily, which could just be because I'm not on tour right now. So I'm out of shape. Cause when I'm on tour, I stay in shape because I'm basically working out on stage every night, but I haven't done that for four months. So going up and down the stairs could easily exhaust me, but that also was a sign of my pregnancy. Still didn't think I was pregnant until just now. I was like, that is a possibility. I should just rule it out because I can't stop peeing. I haven't had any liquids. The only other time in my life where that has happened to me is when I was pregnant. And most women say like, oh, you pee a lot at the end because the baby's getting big and like pressing on your bladder. But for me and my pregnancy, I peed the most in the beginning. In the first couple of months, I had to pee like every two seconds and it was so obnoxious. And I remember telling women that like, oh my God, are you peeing every two seconds if they were pregnant too? And they were like, no, that doesn't come till later. But for me, the first trimester was like really a lot of peeing. I've been tired, I've been moody, I've been hungry, I've been feeling weird. I had a horrible headache today for hours. I've been just kind of off and they've, I've had all these little weird symptoms, but literally didn't think anything of it because I was just like, it's probably just me being a human. And these are symptoms that humans have sometimes, especially when you're stuck at home doing nothing but overanalyzing any symptom because you're constantly afraid you might get COVID. I really have not thought I was pregnant until this second. And I looked up like peeing frequently and there was stuff saying like, it could be like a urinary tract infection, but I've had those and those are painful and it doesn't seem like that. I don't think I'm pregnant, I really don't. But I just wanna rule it out because I don't wanna have that thought in the back of my mind. Like, well, what if you are? So I'm gonna take a pregnancy test. I feel really weird right now. I don't know, oh my God, what if I was pregnant? Oh my God, during a pandemic. Just pregnancy in general is terrifying to me, but if I am pregnant, which I'm not. Oh my God, I literally said the other day, like I felt really out of breath and I was like, what if, what about, last time I felt like this, I, I was pregnant. There's no way. I don't know, let's pee on a stick. It's time. Okay, so this feels very reminiscent of the first time I ever took a pregnancy to press, pressed, oh God. I have pregnancy brain already. <laughs> pregnancy test on camera, uh, I did it on my phone. My camera battery just died as I was starting to talk about this. Hello, I'm on my phone, which makes me feel a little bit like, because <laughs> I literally took a pregnancy test, on, filmed it on my phone and it was positive with Flynn. Then I I've taken other ones and they were, not. okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna pee on a stick. It's two in the morning. I think it's July 7th. Um, I don't know what day it is. I'm stressed at the chance that it could be positive. I don't think it is. I'm gonna pee. Okay, basically that was the weirdest stream of pee ever, so I don't even know if this is gonna work. This is very stressful. Okay, so says, let's read the rules of the box. You can tell six days sooner. There's no more of this, so that was my last chance to see if I'm gonna be pregnant. For five seconds, that was not five seconds. Whoops, okay. Wait three minutes, okay. Let's wait three minutes, guys. There's no way. Time to look and see if I'm pregnant. I really don't think I'm pregnant. But what if I am? That would be crazy. Let's see. Let's see. That looks very negative. I'm really looking close. Two lines means pregnant. That's one line. Um, but I just want to make sure because the first time this happened to me, there was like a little bit of a line. I really don't see anything. Thank God. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little sad. Like I don't, we're not trying to get pregnant. I don't want to get pregnant right now. The thought of being pregnant is really scary to me because of how hard it was last time. But I do like, part of me is like, what if I got, what if I had another baby and like, and it was a good pregnancy? <laughs> I know that chances, the chances of that happening are very slim. Like if you have a bad pregnancy, you're gonna have another bad pregnancy. I'm just like, what if I got pregnant and it was like amazing? 
So yeah, I think about that, but then I, the thought of it being really horrible always outweighs the like, the potential of it being good, the, the scariness of it being really bad always outweighs that. And I'm like, okay, no, I can't get pregnant. I'm like, not gonna lie, I'm like a little bit sad. Like it would have been really exciting to be pregnant and have another baby, but I'm not pregnant. It's a good thing. I don't like, I've, I've, my heart like goes out for all the women who have been pregnant and have had to deliver during the pandemic. Like I can't even imagine how hard that would be. You guys are superheroes. I, you're way bigger and better women than I would ever even dream of being. So you're incredible. I know I've said so many times I never want to get pregnant again, but then sometimes I'm like, but do I want to get pregnant again? So I'm going to go to bed. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'll see you guys tomorrow.